Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to introduce how you can set up the classroom equipment for your lecture capturing. The classroom we have selected in this video is a more modern classroom, such as those in the Centennial campus. Once you arrive at the classroom, switch on the computer and audio systems as well as the projector in the classroom panel. Turn on the classroom computer and log in to Zoom and double-check Zoom is logged in with your HKU account. To show your face and actions, locate the camera in the classroom. It can be the classroom camera, an ejectable built-in webcam, or a computer webcam mounted on the computer monitor. Please log into HKU Moodle and enter your course. You will see a Zoom block called Lecture Recording via Zoom on the top right side. We will be using this function to capture your lecture. To add a new lecture recording, turn Moodle editing on. Click Creating the meeting or add a new lecture recording and type in your lecture name. Click Confirm and Create meeting and you can see your lecture recording has been created. You can also just simply create one lecture recording and use it repeatedly throughout the whole course. By clicking setting, you can change the title and sequence of the selected lecture recording. You can also delete the created lecture recording by clicking delete. Turn Moodle editing off to finish the setting of your lecture recording. Click the title button and you will be directed to Zoom. The lecture recording will start automatically. First is video settings. Select one camera that best suits your need. Next is the audio. Locate the wireless mic in the classroom and switch it on. Select microphone, USB audio codec in Zoom audio setting. As for the speaker, select Xtron HDMI as the speaker in Zoom audio settings. This would broadcast the sound of the classroom computer to the loudspeakers placed throughout the classroom for students. Remember to test your audio before starting the class. To share your screen and lecture slides, click Share Screen in Zoom. If you want to use a second device, such as a mobile phone or tablet, in your lecture, generate and scan the QR code from the Moodle blog. Click End button on Zoom to finish recording. After the lecture, teachers can see the recording links generated under the Moodle Zoom blog. Click the link to view and edit the recording. You can decide which part of the recording you want students to watch by adjusting the playback range, and students can only view this part. You can also download the recording by clicking Download. After the lecture, students can see the recording link generated under the Moodle Zoom blog and can click the links to view the recordings. But students have no access to download or edit them. If you want to use the visualizer in your lecture, please be reminded to bring in your own white paper and pen for writing and drawing under the visualizer. First, switch on the visualizer. The freeze button allows you to freeze the frame and walk away from the visualizer to the projector screen during the lecture. Press the focus button to adjust the autofocus. You can also zoom in and zoom out. If you find the visualizer is not responding, switch off and switch on the visualizer to reset. To connect the visualizer to Zoom, click Share Screen in Zoom on your classroom computer. Go to Advanced and select Content from Second Camera. If you need any immediate support during your class, please contact Learning Environment Services for support. You can find the inquiry hotline on the Quick Start Guide in the classroom. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you next time.